Uh, big thing we got going on tomorrow night. Several of our YouTube contributors are going to be here. Several of our interns are going to be a part of this. Joey, you're going to be here for it. Unfortunately, I cannot be because I have my Dynasty rookie draft tomorrow night. But the Pistons, they could be on the clock for the number one overall pick after tomorrow night because the draft lottery party for the NBA is going on. And the Pistons have a pretty decent chance of getting number one or number two on this. Are, are you excited? I am. I'm so excited, especially just at that opportunity. Like seeing these, these Cade edits of him in a Pistons uniform just got me so excited. And we got some of the best Detroit Pistons talent and media um, talent in the world that are going to be a part of our broadcast. So just shout out to Kool-Aid, shout out to Pistons Talk, shout out to Detroit Drew, and a few others that are going to be joining us on the show. Yeah, if you're looking at the stats right now, the Pistons have a 14% chance of the number one overall pick, 13.4 for number two, 12.7 for number three, 11.9 for number four, 27% chance Ooh. for number five, and 20% chance for number six. Ooh, I don't like those 20s. Yeah, I don't like those 20s either, but we're we're in the highest percentage for 1, 2, 3, and 4 as well. So, Hey, listen, if we get this number one, we are going crazy inside of our studio tonight. So make sure you are tomorrow watching night. tomorrow night. <laughs> so make sure you are watching when we start this because it's going to be exciting, man. Do you ever watch, do you traditionally watch the draft lottery? Oh, guys? yeah. That's, that's, I love it. It's the precursor to the draft. I yeah, mean, you got to gotta see where we landed so Danny can start kind of building the mock drafts, looking looking at scouting players differently, seeing, okay, okay, they might go, they could, they could possibly get this guy at this spot. Maybe they could trade up and get this guy here. Who, who doesn't want, well, I'm not going to say who doesn't watch the draft lottery. I, I'm pointing at him right now, <laughs> right now, that guy right there. What, Fish. what person who loves the basketball for real doesn't love the draft lottery? <laughs> Fish loves basketball, just not NBA basketball. He likes, like, um, Australian basketball, right? I, I watched the NBA yesterday, and I watched the game on Saturday, and I watched the game on Friday. Oh, nice. But you prefer Australian and Euro League, right? Uh, I watch them. I don't know if I'd say prefer. I, I enjoy the American basketball. Uh, okay, good. Not a fan of the high scores. Right. But I do watch them, and I do enjoy them. Fish I just likes watch. the fast forward. I like, just let me, let me see the replay. That's all Fish cares about. <laughs> no, I actually hate replays. It's got to be live. Jeff, grab the mic real quick because I, I want to hear your input. You're wearing a piston shirt if, right if now. If it's not live, I'm not watching it. So, obviously, you're interested in the draft lottery tomorrow night. Um, outside of the number one pick, you know, what are you looking for out of the draft lottery tomorrow? Uh, I'm looking for a stud, all right? I'm, I'm sick of the excuses. I mean, I hope the top five selection isn't a, isn't a – thing we're going to be in in the future i think the the year is, is this year and there's there's a deep i mean with covid the class it's hard to you know scout but there's there's a good five guys in this draft you can you could take and be pretty confident with like i don't want any more dev uh donovan mitchell's <laughs> um devin bookers i mean he's my favorite player in the league i can't even have him my own team so there's a lot of moments like that but i think we're going to get a stud i mean even if we get the fifth pick. I think this this draft is deep enough, and we have a good GM that'll uh, take care of us. I think so. Who's your ideal pick? It uh, depends where we are. Like I'm obviously, you know, everyone wants Cade, but um, I'm a fan of Jalen Green. Uh, I like him, but um, you know, you can't really go wrong. Evan Mobley. There's like you know, a good four or five guys. I would I'd be yeah, happy. Yeah, Jalen Suggs, Jalen Green, yep. Mobley, Scotty Cade Barnes Cody is the one I like too. Huh? Scotty Barnes, the power from forward. Florida State. Yeah, Florida yeah, State. He's pretty good too. Yeah, I just don't. I don't. I don't know if we need a. We need a shooting guard. That's yeah, what we need. Really we need a powerful, shooting sh athletic shooting Suggs guard. Suggs or Green, I would be happy yeah. with. I, I like Green. If we got to pick between the Jalens, I like yep. Green just because he's got some more upside, some more athleticism to him. But, yeah, tomorrow night it's all going to be decided. The last time we've really had this much at stake in, in the draft was two, 2003. <laughs> and we won it, you know, because. Hey, that is true. Listen, we did well there because if they would have gotten the number one pick, that was protected. We wouldn't have been able to draft at all. That would have gone to the Otis Thorpe trade. But we got the number two, and that enabled us to either pick Darko or Carmelo or Wade or Bosch. We picked Darko, um, which is not okay, but it happened, and we've dealt with it, and I'm still hurting. Uh, but that's okay. Tomorrow is a big deal, and so we're going to do a live draft party because that way, when we get the number one pick, I want you all, like, popping bottles in here. Oh, yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to have eight mile bottles all up in here <laughs> yes. and everything and have a celebration because I honestly have a good – it was just like shook up and went all over the place, but vodka doesn't do that. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Yeah, no, it up. bubbles, though. <laughs> I just have a good feeling this year. I really do. Do you? I, I do. I do. I, the number one, I don't know about, but at least the two or three, and that's what I like, is we got three chances. Because obviously, number one and going with Cade would be the number one that would 
full confidence in that one. Yeah. But even if we go to a number two or three, I'll still be happy. Yeah, so tomorrow night we're going to start at about 7.30. We'll have the guys in the studio. Like you said, Detroit Drew is going to be in here. Pistons Talk is going to be in here. Detroit Kool-Aid, just a bunch of our social contributors and a couple people from the network, and it's going to be a fun little hour-long show. And you're just going to be waiting in anticipation till those envelopes are open. Are you going to wear anything for good luck, Joey, like some of the players do? Hmm. Might have to bust out my Pistons jersey now. There you go. Might have to bring that one out. It's always fun to see the guys like sitting up there like rubbing their rabbit's foot. or They, they all bring their like, one little trinket like, this was my daughter's pin in third grade. It's going to bring <laughs> us good luck tonight. And it's like, then they get the seventh pick. Are you wearing the 3-1-3-1? Three, one, three, one, three, one? Yep. Uh, Are you coming through for it, Corey? I'm going to. I'm probably going to slide through. Nice. I'm probably going to slide through. Yeah, I wish I could be here, but, uh, you know, that Dynasty Football League. Uh, uh, hey. I think I'm gonna we'll live stream that though on my on my stick page. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah, so it's like a draft. So I don't do I don't do dynasty. It's it's only rookies. Okay. We only draft rookies. It's oh, six okay. rounds of rookie draft tomorrow. How nice. many how many teams you got in there? Uh, twelve. Oh wow! So you could get some good people in there. Yeah, yeah, and I got I got one first round, two second rounds, two thirds, two fourths. So I I did. You some only got th- one first round. Yeah, you only get one first round. Oh, oh, so I traded for the okay, other Okay, okay, I got you. Yeah, yeah. So I got the number 10 overall pick because I should have been the championship, but I didn't make it last year. Just this close. But either way, that's what I got planned for tomorrow night. So make sure you're watching our draft lottery party right here on the Woodward Sports Network. That's happening tomorrow night at 730. And now, coming up next, our boy Adam with his bets. And before he gets in here, I got to tell you about our people at Coast. This dude just whipped it out. Dude. I never knew how much I needed a pocket knife until I got a pocket knife. Yep. 